Hi, this is Yann Camus from Bliss Climbing and today is probably the most important video. If you look at just one of my videos, I hope this is the one. It's all about safety and it can be used by anybody. So there's a ton of situations where you'll be by yourself, whether it's when leading, you're leading, you're by yourself. When you're following, well, you're pretty much by yourself also. Yes, there is somebody, but they're not ready to watch what you're doing and they, they're not with you uh, telling you uh, that you're doing something wrong. Uh, same thing if you're on a rappel. Uh, if you're the last person leaving the rappel, you're by yourself. If you're on the big wall, you'll be ascending a rope, you'll be by yourself. And lastly, if you're top rope soloing or if you're lead rope soloing, you'll be by yourself and that's the reason I came up with with this uh, idea of a buddy check when there's no buddy around you to check you so it's a self-made buddy check so basically what you have to remember the acronym is SOLO HOME SAFE so SOLO stands for the system then the devices, you need to check that they operate. Then everything is locked, L. And O, nothing obstructs the system. There's nothing that can hinder your system from working. And the home safe is that you have to uh, check that you have everything with you to either come back where you are or you have everything with you. Uh, I will show you how it goes with a rappel with a grigri. So it's very simple and in that case it will be a single rope that is fixed. So nothing uh, can be easier than that. So I would just set up my grigri first and my rope. So I check my things a little bit. All right, once I think I'm set, I have to do my buddy check, so it's solo home safe. The system, so the system that I'm using is good for what I intend to do. So I'm doing a rappel, I use a grigri, uh, it's mounted in a very simple way, uh, it's adequate. And when I do that, I think of maybe an instructor that would look at what I'm doing. Uh, if I think that maybe there's some things funny going on, not good, then maybe next time I should ask an instructor how I should do things. And maybe if I'm not sure of the system I'm using, I should use something that I'm more familiar about. So in, in that case, I think my system is good. Then my device operates. So I do a function test. I pull on the rope here, it locks, and in that case of a rappel, I can load my rope before I commit to the system fully and check that everything goes right. I can even check that my uh, handle uh, releases the grigri. So it's a function check. The device operates. Then I need to check that everything is locked. So in that case, I need to check the how the rope is anchored. I need to check that it, it's in good shape. I need to check that my Grigri is mounted correctly, that my carabiner is locked. So I push on the gate, function check. Then I check my harness. I check my buckles. And I will check that at the end of the rope, I have a safety knot, barrel knot, that will close the system. Everything is locked. And then I need to check that there's no obstruction. In that case here, maybe I think that this cord that is on my chest has some longish uh, uh, ends and it could go inside my grigri. Or maybe if I have long hair, uh, it could go in the grigri. Or if there's some sharp rock, it could obstruct or hinder my system or render my system useless. So everything that's around my system, what obstructs? And then there's the home safe. 
when I before I leave the belay, I need to check that I have everything with me to go back home. Or if I know that I'm coming back where I am now, uh, I can check that I just have everything I need to come back here. For example, if I have a whole rack, but I'm just doing a rappel and ascending the rope back up because I'm going to check something down there, I don't need the whole rack with me. I could leave that at the belay, but I need my things to come back uh, to ascend the rope. I need uh, maybe some food, maybe some water, and maybe a little bit of self-rescue gear if I ever need uh, anything. So once I did all those checks, I'm ready to commit to the system. So lastly, I'd like to say that the solo home safe buddy check uh, is good if you start from nothing. But if you're already on a system, uh, safety system, for example, you're tethered, uh, you have a lanyard to the belay or anything like that, it's actually in a transition that you're using the solo home safe protocol and in a transition it's in three parts you attach yourself in the new way then you check the new system so that's the solo home safe and then you undo the previous safety system in three parts and you can either even use the solo home safe uh, protocol when you're with someone and you can show him how you do it and I think this can save some life enjoy your climbing guys and if you're interested in uh, top rope solo or lead rope solo you can check my website blissclimbing.com and please if you like that video go check other videos right there and please subscribe to my channel all right Goodbye.